स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन दीज नोट्स आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड यूर नोट्स इन टू डेज लेक्चर विल डिस्कस मैकेनिज्म ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन और इट इज डी एन ए सिंथेसिस डी एन ए डुप्लीकेशन डियर स्टूडेंट्स डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन इट इज अ कॉमन टॉपिक फॉर बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स प्लस टू स्टूडेंट्स नीट स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम स्टूडेंट्स इन टू डेज लेक्चर इन विच वी विल क्लियर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन इट इज an auto catalytic property of dna in which the original dna the parent dna at that dna produce its carbon copies no down this entire process of dna replication that occurs in s phase that occurs in synthetic phase of cell cycle according to watson and crick he proposed the dna model as well as watson and crick stated that dna replication is semi conservative mode of replication not down semi conservative it means half of the dna remains parental and half dna is newly formed as in this dna duplication in this dna helix at the time of replication both strands separate and the separated strands these old strands act as dna template and on these old or dna templates new strands are synthesized means half of the dna remains parental and half dna is newly formed that kind of replication it is semi conservative mode of replication this dna replication it begins at a particular site at that site is ori or origin of replication in case of prokaryotic dna in case of viruses in case of bacteria there is one ori or origin of replication it means the entire dna of viruses bacteria and prokaryotes that acts mono replicanic only single unit of replication but not down in case of eukaryotes the dna possesses several ori sites several origin of replication units are present it means dna replication in case of eukaryotic dna that is multi replicanic the replication process it is very rapid very fast process as in case of e coli the entire dna replication that requires only 19 minutes the rate of polymerization of nitrogen base pairs that is about 2000 base pairs per second in each direction not down because dna replication proceeds in both directions it means this entire process is semi conservative as well as it is bidirectional and in each direction about 2000 nitrogen base pairs per second this entire process this entire mechanism of dna replication that involves following steps first step is activation of dna nucleotides not down these are deoxyribonucleotides or these are deoxyribonucleoside monophosphates monophosphates as we know the dna molecule is made up of four types of nucleotides and these nucleotides are freely present in nucleoplasm of eukaryotic cells it means the nucleotides which are involved in dna synthesis are freely present in nucleoplasm of eukaryotic cell but in case of prokaryotes no nucleus so these nucleotides are present in cell cytoplasm very clear dna replication in case of eukaryotes occurs in nucleus 
but in case of prokaryotes bacteria e coli this process takes place in cell cytoplasm and the four nucleotides which are involved in dna replication these are d e a m p d oxy adenosine monophosphate d oxy guanosine monophosphate d oxy cytidine monophosphate and d oxy thymidine monophosphate these dna nucleotides are freely present in either in cell cytoplasm or nucleoplasm but these are in inactive form first of all these dna nucleotides are phosphorylated and these are changed in active forms and this entire process requires energy plus an enzyme that is phosphorylase dear students dna replication that requires dna nucleotides and these nucleotides are of four types d e a m p d e g m p d e c m p and d e t m p these nucleotides are first of all phosphorylated and activated in presence of this energy and enzyme which is phosphorylase enzyme as a result this d e a m p monophosphate is converted into d e a t p triphosphate it is d oxy adenosine triphosphate it means this inactive form gains two phosphate groups and this monophosphate group changes into triphosphate this inactive form in presence of this energy and phosphorylase enzyme it becomes active first step of dna replication that is very clear i think activation of dna nucleotides because dna replication requires dna nucleotides but these nucleotides are found in inactive form in monophosphate groups groups and these are converted into active forms phosphorylated in presence of energy and phosphorylase enzyme these monophosphates are converted into triphosphate second step is and the second step it, it is exposure of dna strands the students the dna molecule it is a helix it is double stranded but at the time of dna replication both dna strands are separated it means the dna helix it becomes unchipped it becomes unquiet unwinding of DNA helix is caused by unwinding or helicase enzyme due to unwinding uncoiling of DNA a tension develops and that tension is released by this enzyme which is top isomerase and these proteins which are SSBPs these are single stranded binding protein and these proteins act as helix stabilizers because the unseparated strands these uncoiled dna strands are stabilized and the stabilization is carried by these ssbps single stranded binding proteins now down at the time of dna replication at the ORI site this helicase enzyme this unwinding enzyme it causes uncoiling unzipping of dna helix due to the separation of both strands the tension creates and that tension is released by this topo isomerase enzyme and the separated strands are stabilized by these proteins these are ssbps single stranded binding proteins no down in case of prokaryotes in case of bacteria it is believed that only a single enzyme that is gyrase and that gyrase acts as helicase as well as top isomerase but in case of eukaryotes these two enzymes are different 
One is the helix is uncoiled by this unwinded enzyme and this topo isomerase. Now down this topo isomerase enzyme it makes a nick, it makes a cut and reseals the DNA strands. As a result, the DNA becomes almost Y-shaped. And this Y-shaped structure is named it is replication fork. Note down, the DNA molecule at the time of DNA replication, the DNA helix which is unquiet, that is unchipped, and the both separated strands are stabilized by these SSBPS. The helix is unquiet by unwinded or helicase, while this topoisomerase enzyme which released the tension which develops at the time of separation of DNA strands as well as this topoisomerase enzyme it makes a nick cut as well as it reseals the DNA strands but in case of prokaryotes in case of E. coli bacteria only one enzyme that is gyrase and that enzyme acts as unwinded as well as topoisomerase dear students this is the mechanism of DNA replication in which First of all, we require DNA nucleotides and these DNA nucleotides which are found freely inside cytoplasm or nucleoplasm and these nucleotides are monophosphate in active forms. These are first of all phosphorylated and activated in presence of energy and enzyme which is phosphorylase and the second step is the DNA helix, the both strands of DNA are separated means exposure of DNA strands as a result Y-shaped replication for